Last week, residents in the western area of the valley were stunned by a loud sonic boom, which turned out to be a meteorite that landed in Stark County. Now, a pair of scientists who call themselves, quote, a nerd couple, found what was left of the meteorite. Our digital content producer, Stephen Mossel, spoke to them exclusively about their discovery, and our Adam Cardona brings us the story. Last Wednesday's meteor event was heard and felt throughout Hidalgo County. Mark and Linda Freeze are believed to be among the first to recover fragments of the meteorite. Mark is the cosmic dust curator for NASA. Linda is a science writer for the Department of Earth Environmental and Planetary Sciences at Rice University. We have a blast with it. I mean, this is, this is, this is, you know, we're like married nerd couple. After learning about the meteor event, they were on the road headed for the valley. They struck gold, or in this case, iron, in Star County. And uh, we were able to find a landowner who was willing to do that, allow us to look. And uh, we found over the course of the weekend five meteorites, including you know, one that was one, one and a quarter kilograms. And uh, we're able to get, also get a small piece that was about 20 grams that will be sent to a repository. NASA confirmed a 1,000 pound meteoroid made entry near McAllen and fragments did reach the ground in Stark County. Uh, so they have a, a shape that is obviously uh, modified by their atmospheric passage and by the, by the fact that they have been essentially um, melting um, by friction. Pass, you know, their cosmic velocity as it as it's passing through Earth's atmosphere causes the outside of it essentially to melt and ionize. When photos of the meteorite recovery began to surface, many took to social media to ask where the crater was. Mark says there were some misconceptions about how much reached the ground. When it hit the top of the atmosphere, then, you know, easily 90% of that rock is going to be just totally vaporized by, by you know, the bright uh, incandescent fireball that you see. And what actually reaches the ground are a bunch of fragments. The free say there's a large volume of fragments left behind that will likely be found for years to come. As for the sample collected, it still hasn't been decided which science institution it will go to. For now, Mark is advising residents that this meteor event was a gift. I understand that, you know, when the, f the fireball occurred and it was very loud and uh, it, it can be downright terrifying, but... Um, it, it actually is a rare gift, and uh, we're, we now have meteorites in hand, and we can study them. Working for you, I'm Adam Cardona. I love watching really smart people try to explain something <laughs> to us regular people. That poor woman, she was just trying to boil that down into something right, we can all we understand. understand. <laughs> Stephen Masso, our producer, really did a great job breaking that down, getting that interview yeah. for us, because it was an incredible day yes. to be able to it see is, that. It is good stuff, uh, especially when no one's hurt.